Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. This is super exciting. I appreciate today is Age of Triumph Day, but a Destiny 2 teaser trailer just dropped before the trailer went live this website went live and it said that on thursday the 30th of march at 10 a.m pacific time 6 p.m uk time the full reveal trailer for destiny 2 will go live however shortly after that about five minutes after they dropped a teaser trailer that you're seeing in the background now of course it is only a teaser it's about a minute and 13 seconds long but it still tells us so, so much. Basically, Destiny 2 is going to start off pretty damn abruptly. So in this video, I want to break down what we have, tell you guys everything we need to know. So if you do enjoy this, then a like we super appreciate it. If you're hyped, then drop a like on this video and let me know down below. Honestly, this trailer is so awesome. If you want to see the full thing without me talking over the top, I will link it down below. Definitely check it out. It is a really, really awesome trailer, and I just definitely can't wait to see the full thing. But what do we see here? Well, Following on from what I said in the video yesterday, speaking about the promotional image that was revealed, I mentioned how it looked like below the Traveller, the last city was on fire, said that it may well be that at the beginning of Destiny 2, the tower, the city itself is on fire, is destroyed, who knows? And of course, if you pair that with the Mega Bloks rumor from the beginning of the year, when a set came out that basically told a story of the Cabal crashing into the tower and us fighting them in the hangar, I said if that does come to pass, then that may well explain why the image looks as it does. And of course, now watching this reveal trailer, we know that is exactly what happens. Basically, the trailer features Cade sitting there narrating exactly what happened. He talks about how they were standing in the kind of Vanguard war room in a sort of hall of heroes, so to speak, and then there was an explosion, as you can see here, and of course you can see on the left that is Cade, on the right that is Zavala. It then switched back to Cade, he continued to tell the story about how he was shooting various different opponents, and of course they were all Cabals. You can see a Cabal here, a couple here, and of course the big guy with the shield right here. However, it doesn't stop there. Afterwards, he then talks about how he thought it was going well, and then suddenly things took a turn for the worse. Now, one of the things that's spoken about in the Mega Bloks set is a new Cabal faction, the Red God. And these are people that we have not up until this point encountered. And that would, of course, be this dude here. He's a massive Cabal guy with red armor on, wielding dual blades, and he basically smashes through the wall. This, I'm going to imagine, would be one of the more senior Cabal ranks, and they're clearly a force to be reckoned with. And of course, during that scene, when you do see the Red Guard, we also see Ikora Ray, because of course they are the three main Vanguard. We've now seen Cade, we've now seen Zavala, and we've seen Ikora there. They're of course standing there, fighting their ground, trying to hold off this incoming attack in the tower. After that, it then cuts back to Cade again, him talking about how things went south. And shortly following that, we then see the walls around him crumble, because of course he's sitting in the tower bar. You can see the music box behind him, the sweeper bot just by there. And then shortly after that, the walls fall down and you can actually see outside the bar and things are looking pretty damn dire. Everywhere is pretty much in ruins. The Cabal have obviously done a number on the tower and I would imagine the last city by extension as well. So I think it's pretty safe to say that when we start Destiny 2, the tower is definitely not going to be our home, which is hopefully going to link nicely into the kind of talks from the investicles about there being, you know, multiple cities, multiple outposts or encampments. It'd be really cool if there's no, say, single location that we can call home, call like a safe location. We're instead having to jump between locations and try and, you know, take back the city. So that is super awesome but that is pretty much it that's basically all we can glean from that for the time being you can of course see the city in the background in this final scene and it says we get to watch the worldwide reveal trailer on thursday i'm hoping during that we get some gameplay because this is of course a cg trailer but for the time being that's all we have to go on so let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of all this this is so incredibly awesome i do love when the hype train officially starts and when this sort of stuff starts coming out because it is just really really cool to be a part of but either way that's it for the time being. That's what we currently know. That's how it links into some of the kind of most recent leaks and rumors and whatnot. So some of those things are indeed shaping up to be true. But until Thursday, that's it for the time being. I will have some major triumph videos for you guys later on. I'm kind of running through the raid at the moment, trying to work out the different challenge modes and whatnot. So do expect some guides forever very soon. But until then, thank you for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.